good day. Hey everyone! Welcome back to the Obstacle Racing Media Weekly Video Program. I'm your host, Matt B. Davis. I'm here to talk about the North American Championships. Sorry, the Spartan North American Championships. Unlike the U.S. Championship Series, this is one race to decide them all. $12,000 to the winners! If you've been paying attention in the last year, you'll know that Spartan has a championship on every continent or almost every continent. And if you win that, you get a golden ticket to Tahoe. Now there's a bunch of other ways to qualify for Tahoe, but they're doing this to build the sport worldwide. I think this is all part of the Olympic plan and also for Spartan world domination. Side note, there is still a bunch of Spartan championships to be handed out this year. You got the Stadium Series, which is gonna conclude in Fenway, the Mountain Series, which is gonna conclude at Tri-State, the Honor Series, which nobody really knows, Tahoe, of course, which is the Spartan World Championship. Then we've got the Trifecta World Championship in Greece and the 24-hour title in Iceland. Man, that's a lot of title. The top three men came out pretty much as expected. You knew the combo was probably gonna be something between, oh, I don't know, Killian, Atkins, and Woods, and that's what we saw. Woods has been tearing it up this year. He won the US series. He tends to struggle in the longer races, so he was unable to catch Killian, who took a lead early on, and Atkins even passed him, even though Atkins earlier failed the spear. Killian's on the podium everywhere, Spartan series, Mudder series, whatever, but this is a big, big win for him. As you all know, there's a huge difference. Most people don't know seconds and thirds over the years. So this is probably his biggest win since Tahoe 2015. I really look forward to see how those three go at it in Tahoe. And don't forget Cody Mode, who finished fourth, who's last year's Tahoe champion. How did the women fare? Well, on any given week, you can expect these women somewhere on the podium. Faye, Rhea, Alyssa, Nicole, Lindsay, who moving forward I will call, wait for it, the Fab Five Females. Now listen, I've been trying to have nicknames catch on for years. Most of them don't. Let's have this one work. I am so committed to this that I'm gonna be putting some articles and videos together highlighting these women. Lindsay continued her domination by winning this one relatively easily. In second place, we had a bit of a surprise in Rebecca Hammond. Now, for those that know Rebecca and saw she was on the podium earlier, don't freak out. This always happens when people say, oh, I've heard of that girl before, it's okay. She had one on a stage this big. It'll be exciting to see how she does moving forward. That's gonna do it for this one. Hey, listen, do me a favor, subscribe. Subscribe, hit that button. I don't know where it is, but subscribe for this fucker. I gotta run. Top four, Oof. Spartan, you, this isn't even it. Has a. Nicole, Faye, Rhea, Alyssa. The next four were, in fact, Nicole, Faye, or Nifra.